What's up guys? How are you doing? Happy Monday. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, even if you aren't, well I guess it's Tuesday when you watch this, but make it a good week. Uh, you're in control of your week. Monday and Tuesday is not bad days. I hate when people say, oh great, it's Monday again. Which I know I have a pretty easy job and life and stuff like that, but make it fun. Monday is what you make of it. If you want it to be good, you can make it good. If you want it to be bad, you can make it bad. It's up to you. Speaking of sucky Mondays, not that I'm complaining or anything, uh, my back, I mean, I've had this pain before, and I don't know what causes it. I might, I'm worried I have back problems. Because my grandma, uh, she has back problems, and I'm kind of worried, like, I've got that from her, and I know it's sort of from skating. It's like my lower back, and it does it on both sides. Yesterday, both sides ended up hurting throughout the course of the day. But right now, like, I literally, when I walk, I have to, like, hold my breath and tighten my, like, whole body up, like that, like, ugh, so it doesn't hurt. Uh, anyways, I'm at my grandma's house. Uh, she's like I said, she's got back pain and she's got muscle relaxer, so I'm gonna take one of those. I've did that before when I when I had really bad back pain like this, and it's just like my lower back. It's like not at my spine. It's more like above my, like, I guess the bone above your hip. You know what I'm talking about? And your back. I don't know how to explain it. It's it's horrible. It's like beside my spine. It's uh, it's horrible. Like I, it, this has been so bad before. Where I literally, all I can do is lay down on the floor. That's how bad it hurts. Because I can't move. If I move, it's like a sharp pain. It sort of feels like something's grinding together. That's the only way I can explain it. <clears throat> Probably something I should go to the doctor for. I'd have to get insurance for that first. Alright, so I got a muscle relaxer in me. I'm feeling a little bit better. My back's still like tight feeling. Uh, it's definitely already starting to, to help a little bit though. Um, she gave me another one too in case it's hurting later at night. I'm going to like lay with my bed buddy thing. Uh, sounds like so kiddish. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down with my bed buddy. My bed buddy and I are uh, gonna have some that's, cuddle facts. Well, that's the little thing that has rice in it. It's like a little bag thing that you heat up in the microwave. The rice heats up and then the like warmth and moisture, like it helps it helps you feel better. So that's probably gonna help my back out a lot. Uh, and I'll just chill and relax. And I figured out what it was. I didn't think about this. I sit at the computer a lot when I'm doing tech videos and editing, stuff like that. But... I did it a lot over the weekend because of all the iPhone videos I was doing, so I was just constantly on my computer. And then you would go and skate. You yeah. Give your body any time. Then to I rest. went and skated. And then we also have a really bad bed. Yeah, and our bed is horrible. Uh, so yeah, it was just a combination of things. Sat at the computer too long, and then went and skated without stretching or anything, which I normally don't stretch. It was just because I, I, it was because I sat down so you long. You should stretch, especially yeah. with skating and everything. Yep. Important. I should, but I don't. When I get there, I'm ready to skate. I don't want to stretch. Know. Well, you should stretch before you go to skate. Like, do some, like, stretches and everything. YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> Not if you don't, like, uh, take care of yourself. <laughs> you will only live once. What? You're going to live once anyway. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> What's the YOLO again? I forget what it is because everybody uses it so much. Yeah, you only live once. What? My brain's live. not working right now. It's too early for me. It's not that it's early. It's 3 o'clock. What are you just, just stop talking? My brain isn't functioning, okay? Quit, just quit talking while you're not okay. ahead. Okay. Don't get more behind. <laughs> One thing I should really think about is getting a better office chair. Uh, so do any of you guys like have a recommendation for an office chair that's really good for your back? I mean, they have to make it. I'm sure well, somebody makes... Have now is that no, well, it hurts my back, so it's not good for me. Like, I'm sure somebody makes an office chair that's good for people who have bad backs. Because there's people who have bad backs that's got to sit at a desk and sit in a chair all day. Because that's part of their job. So, what uh, would you guys suggest at all? Is there any good chairs for bad backs? I farted. You've been doing that so much. That's rude. Don't be doing that on the camera. Hello. <laughs> We're talking about uh, what we think is going to happen at the end of Breaking Bad. If you don't want to hear spoilers, stop watching. Because I'm going to spoil it for you right now. Skip ahead a couple minutes. <laughs> Skip ahead a minute or two. Alright, it's your warn. Don't, don't get mad that I'm spoiling it. Because I told you, don't watch for a next minute or two. Alright. In a couple episodes back, Walter went back and got that Ryson. Remember that. Walter said he has something else to take care of. He just left his house. He called out on the phone to, uh, like, turn himself in. Then he watched that on the news, or that TV show he's watching in the bar. 
Uh, and then it made him leave, and the cops came there, and he was gone. You're just like saying the what? last bit of the I ending. I know. What? Is what's gonna happen? Either way, the episode ending is not gonna be the way I wanted to be. I wanted Walter. Is it tonight? No, it's, no, next, it's next Sunday. Sunday. I want Walter to end up being a super rich dude. His family gets all kinds of money. Everything's happy ending. That's not gonna happen at all. Walter is gonna go back. He's gonna kill the group of guys. I don't know what they they're referred to. The guys who have Jesse. Todd's crew. He's gonna yeah, Todd's crew. He's gonna kill all of them. They just killed Jesse's ex-girlfriend sorta of, that he broke up with so she didn't uh she didn't get in trouble or whatever or get caught up in it. Uh they killed her. They're gonna take her son Brock, the group of guys that Walter's gonna kill. I don't know what he's gonna do to Jesse yet. I think he's gonna kill Jesse because Jesse was gonna get killed off early on in the show anyways. And they decided to keep him around. So I think Jesse's going to end up getting killed. Walter's going to save Brock. He didn't have anything against Brock or anything like that. Um, he may kill Brock, though. Because you know how Brock's looked at him a few times? Because mm -hmm. he poisoned him? I've thought about killing people by because of how they looked at me a few times. <laughs> like, did you see the way that dude looked at me? I think I'm going to kill him. No, this is, uh, he poisoned this kid. <laughs> so Walter is going to kill his crew. Possibly kill Jesse. I don't know. He may let him off. Um... He's either going to save Brock or kill Brock because how the way he's looked at him. And and I think Walt knows it. Uh, that The little kid knows that he poisoned him. Uh, I feel like we're playing Clue right now. I don't know what's going to happen to his wife. Either way, his wife's in trouble. I'll get to that, how she's like, going to get off in a minute. Like, I've never watched the show and you pretty much told me every scenario that it could possibly end in. Like, <laughs> right now, no, you have no idea. It. It's, this is, there's lots of around. I think it's overrated. I've never watched it. Anyways, Christian is bad. Okay. His uh, his son and daughter, he's either gonna try to give them the money, or since he was watching that TV program, okay. I think he's going to donate the money that he gets, and he steals his money back from those guys. He's gonna donate it to a drug abuse program or right, something right. like that, or he's gonna do something good with the money to clear his conscience. Right. He's gonna yeah. get all his money back, and. His wife, he's going to go back, get that ricin that you've seen before. He's going to take the ricin, kill himself, so that way his family doesn't think he killed himself. But he dies. His wife gets off easier because right now they're hassling her so hard because they want him. She's still going to get in trouble, but that's how it's going to end. Wild gets all the money back from those guys, kills them all. Um, he's from the future. And then it shows a weird old guy. And then, yeah, that's the ending of Breaking Bad. I'm not saying you guys should post spoilers, but... Tweet me what you think is going to happen at the end of Breaking Bad. Tweet me a quick scenario of what you think is going to happen. That's what I think is going to happen. I know that was like all around and stuff like that. Look, it's the car from Harry Potter. What was it called? They had a name for it. You're disgusting. You just farted. Look at little monkey boo getting in the bath. Look at you. Look, play in the water. Clap, clap. Or bite. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Huh? All you gotta do is like you can move him around and hold him under the water. Look, get in the water. There you go. He's like, okay, it feels kind of good. <laughs> he laid down there the other day. The air was on. He was cold. Did you get the soap? No. There you go. You feel good? He likes the warm water. This time. That's cute, boo. Come on. Let's scrub your hands. Look. Wash your body, bud. Let's wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put some bubbles and then fill it with the water. You've got a little hot tub. He's <laughs> laying in it. No. No. You like it? There you go. Get it in the water. It feels good, don't it? Get your armpits. <laughs> Yeah. Like you go. don't have dirty armpits like know. you. I'm just, I'm just whole body. <laughs> I know. There you go. We'll just give you a good rinse. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like you like it? Hey. Let me kiss. Oh, he's looking to jump around now. Nope. You got a leash. <laughs> He'll like, he likes to run around uh, with being wet and get the ho whole house soaking wet. You're on the leash right now. You can't <laughs> run all home. You're wet, dog. Here, get under the water. Stay warm. There you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Get in water! Oh. Is he holding himself up like yeah, that? Yeah, he was like holding onto the thing. Oh, he's taking a little shower. He's getting clean. Yeah. No, you're not coming. And I'll do your nails after. Mm. Look, look. Grab onto it again. Now it's huge. <laughs> Get under it. <laughs> No, this is my leash, not your leash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. One night, one night, Boo was jumping around uh, on his cage or his trampoline, and he cut his slong. And he is my baby, and I love him to death. And he was bleeding, and I had to give him a bath so I could see what was going on, and I had to wash his slong, which consisted of slightly stroking it. I did not like it. Yeah. <laughs> but I had to do it, didn't I, Boo? You got a soap mustache, Boo. Big dummy got water here. Okay? Aww. Boo's playing on the computer. He keeps playing the Tying Gray Vlog theme song. <laughs> the old one he used to use. Play it! He's, he's writing up it's a very right important document. Now peace out. <laughs> Escape! Do it, Boo. Get my work done. Edit that video. <laughs> this is uh, how I get my vlogs up every day. Just so you guys know, <laughs> I put the boo to work. He's beating the shit out of that computer. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You stupid computer, work. <laughs> He's like, ooh, the cap's like key. It lights up when I press it. He likes that. Don't you take that key off. He is known to take keys off oh, keyboards. Oh, yeah, he took off my one key. All right, chill, chill, yeah. chill. <laughs> 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 no, don't go back to that. He plays the trackpad too. He's typing all kinds of stuff. Look at him. Important. <laughs> what if it was like uh, he Monkey typed up code. some some coordinates to something and his like he emailed it. Monkey code <laughs> treasure coordinates. <laughs> I'm very unhappy with this. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you lost stream, yeah. I think, boo. Wait. Wait, or he minimized wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Boo, patience. Okay. Oh, no, Back no. to typing. Okay. <laughs> hey, you almost died, Tyler. <laughs> oh, I had to backspace that question mark. It's like. <laughs> what are you doing? Exactly. Oh no. You don't need to pull. So I pulled these phones and iPods and stuff out of uh, the drawer in my office. Check this out. This is how many uh, phones and iPods I've broken. Galaxy S4. Cracked. I want to get that fixed. So I'm going to try to. I'm actually going to try to get all of these fixed. Uh, we got some iPod uh, 3Gs right here. Two of those. Cracked. Uh, this one I cracked. This is actually the first device uh, like this that I cracked. I'll tell you the story of it. I had it in a case. I don't know if you guys have seen the little like flip up cases. Like it slides down in it, uh, and then it has like a ring around the device, sort of, or like a, a thing around the device to keep it in. But the flap comes up, and you can just slide it right out. I was at the beach. I was holding it. I was holding it by the edges, not where the flap comes down over the screen. The uh, flap went up. It went out and fell right down on the concrete. Screen down. Most devastating moment moment of my life ever. Not really. Anyways. This one I let Johnny use for a while uh, before he got his iPhone, and it may have been cracked before that, uh, but I think he actually cracked it. I can't remember. I don't know. I think it may have actually been cracked. Johnny, did you did you crack my iPod? I don't remember this being cracked. Is this one the uh, iPod uh, fourth generation? Uh, then my iPod 5G cracked that one. It was sitting in my lap when I was in the car. This is how I've broken like two of my uh, iPhones. I was sitting in my lap in the car like this. I forget that it's sitting there. I grab all my other stuff, get out of the car, falls right on the concrete. This one I was really mad about because this is one of my favorite uh, like device or eye devices uh, as far as design. I'm probably gonna get that screen fixed. Uh, maybe get the iPod 3G fixed. Uh, screens fixed and 4G. I don't know. Uh, here's a 3GS. That screen got cracked. I don't remember how that one got cracked. Uh, here's my iPhone 4S. Whoa! See that? I just caught that. It's cracked there, cracked there, not too bad. Uh, that one still works. It's dead though. Uh, then my iPhone uh, 5, or yeah, my iPhone 5. Uh, you guys seen that one the other day. That's the one that I cracked. 
And uh, yeah, here's my first generation iPhone. Obviously, this thing's gonna be uh, through some damage. My mom actually used this one after me. I don't think it was in near as bad of condition. I think I still have the back to it too. Uh, but yeah, there's my first iPhone. Actually, it is my first iPhone, but I traded it in and got a replacement because my battery is like having issues or something on the first one. But yeah, that is my uh, my collection of Apple devices and I guess a, a Galaxy and uh, iPods and stuff. So that's cracked. No iPads yet. It's probably going to eventually happen. No, it's not. I keep like a good uh, case on this. Like a hard shell plastic case around it plus the uh, Z little thingy, whatever it's called. Smart cover. So we're sitting here eating some delicious Subway tuna shubs. I think I have, I think I have some of my teeth. Anyways. Hi, Gray. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah? Yeah. <coughs> it's a bit more of a Anyways, I'm sitting here reading Time Magazine, and on the front it says, Can Google Solve Death? That is pretty freaking awesome that Google is working on that. I haven't got to that part of the article yet. Uh, I'm actually just kind of like skimming over it right now. But, and like, look, this is, says the Google Universe. And it's got like uh, all like stuff that Google is working on, and this is it, like at, like looking at it, I'm like, holy crap! I really freaking like Google. They are an awesome company. Like they are, they really are. Mm -hmm. Not only the stuff they're doing with their search, their search like Google now, amazing voice search, and it instantly pulls it up. Or just as you're typing it in, it's showing up. And it seems like Google over the years has gotten better and better and better. Like, think about it. When you used to search something on Google, sometimes you'd have to go to like a third or fourth page to find what you wanted, right? No, normally it was always at the top. Well, you know what I mean, but sometimes you would. When's the last time you even went to the second page? You know what I mean? Of just search. Yeah. Like, Google is getting so much smarter. They're learning so much. Like, Google itself is learning so much to make search better. Here's a, 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 li a list of some of the stuff that Google's doing that's amazing. YouTube. I wouldn't be doing this right now if it weren't for Google. YouTube would have probably shut down or some other company would have bought it. Because they wouldn't have been able to afford it. What? I was going to say, YouTube, YouTube was a thing that was successful before Google Yeah, but the, it was so expensive to run. Oh, yeah. Like, not very many companies can pay to run it. I think they may be profitable now. Anyways, it doesn't matter. YouTube. Android. Android. I love Android. Since I started using the Galaxy S4, I seriously miss it. Not saying I don't I love iOS, but I love Android. There's a few features in it that I really love. Google Now, the uh, swipe keyboard, but that's not really an Android feature, just part of Android. Google Chrome. I love Google Chrome. I've used Google Chrome since it came out. Like, it was just yeah. like I've always used Google Chrome. I, I used to use Firefox, and I was a Firefox fan. I used Google Chrome, and I was like, what the freak had I been doing this whole time? Okay. Google also works on really freaking cool stuff, too. Google Fiber. They're making... A gigabit internet. They they're basically like saying to all of the cable companies out there that have provide internet and stuff like that. Hey, step it up, because if you don't, or then no, they're saying you gotta step it up, because we're coming into the space and we'll take over if you don't, if you don't step it up. And I think that's freaking awesome. Google is pushing all of other companies to go faster or give us faster internet, because they're 100% capable of it. They just don't want to spend the money to do it. Self-driving cars. Google is working on self-driving cars. I was looking through this article. Google self uh, Google self driving cars has already logged over a half a million miles. All of their self driving cars. That's pretty freaking awesome. Let's see what else. Like I said, uh, Google search Gmail. Love Gmail, right? Best email Best client email. out there. Forget Yahoo. Forget it. Yeah. Well. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with Yahoo on a lot of my accounts, but I could switch it over. All right. Here's one. I'm gonna make. Google Plus. And eh, not, not so much. But hey, they they're trying. They're trying. All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Google's just a really awesome company, and now they're trying to solve death. I haven't got to that part to like see what they're actually talking about. Um, but Google like gets involved. Did I say Google Glass? Google um, Glass. Google Glass. Obviously, it's awesome. Uh, Google just gets involved in a lot of stuff that they don't really have to, because it's gonna. I mean, I know they're probably gonna end up making money off of it, but to better the world. You know what I mean? I really like Google as a company. I really, really do. Love. Love Google. What a do you lot guys? of people put them what down do because think? of their failures, because they have a lot of failures, but they have yeah. a lot of really, really big and important hits to like pop culture and yeah. society. Mac is way too scared 
of Come everything. Up, inanimate objects. He backed up like super far, and I was like, Mac, look, it's okay. No, 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 watch. You gotta do this. Come here, Mac. Come here. No, no, no. Watch how cute his head is. He does that. Wait, watch, watch, watch. Come here, Mac. No, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Mac. It's okay. He wants to go to her. Mac, come here. Come here. <laughs> if you go pss with everything, to, no, he freaks I'm out more. At how cute he looks. Whatever. <laughs> 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 you just want easy, some food. Easy, easy. Look, Mac, it's okay. <laughs> I was trying to like teach him, like it's okay if it moves, but he does like his head, <laughs> his head thing. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there he goes. He's doing the tilt head. Mm -hmm. Guys, holy crap! My hair is like getting long. Look at this. I don't really don't like keep it in my face. I don't really keep it like that. That's why you don't see it like that. Or with a hat. And I got hat hair really bad right now. But like, look at this. I never push my hair down on my face. Keep it off my forehead. But like, look. That's weird. It looks weird on me. If you guys go back. Oh god, that looks so awkward. <laughs> I have hat hair. It would look better if I didn't have hat hair right now. I'm serious. Uh, but yeah, if you guys go back to some of my older videos, you'll see what my hair looked like. Uh... When I had long hair. I want to grow it out longer than that, kind of. I kind of want to get dreadlocks, but at the same time, I don't. Oh, that looks sweet, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> it was just everywhere. My head is, like, sore from where I had my, like, hair, uh, like, up in my hat like this. Yeah, my hair's getting long. And the beard. The beard. That's a beard right there. And I'm not shaving it. Shut up. If you tell me to shave my beard or tell me to shave my hair... You're wasting your time because what you say is not going to make me change my personal appearance. I don't care what you think about my personal appearance. This is my personal appearance. I worry about you. I worry about me. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed soon. It is past 2 a.m. Uh, I'm probably about to watch something on TV. On ATV, Apple TV. Uh, but Drake's new album just came out. Nothing was the same. NWTS. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> Took me a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, make sure you guys go get it. I'm supporting him because he's one of my favorite artists. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I've actually had the album. I've been listening to it. I love it. Uh, and it's not on Spotify yet, uh, but it probably will be sometime tomorrow. Uh, but if you guys want to go download it from iTunes or whatever, make sure you go do it. That's a good album. And, uh, Drizzy Drake, OVO. Uh... Yeah, I'm too tired to have much enthusiasm. And of course, I'm watching an interview with Drizzy Drake about his new album. Uh, he's like talking about some of his songs and why he wrote them, that like inspiration behind them, uh, with Ryan Seacrest, uh, like interviewing him. He's like su like such a well-spoken person when he talks in interviews and stuff like that. Like he knows what he's doing. He knows how to say stuff the way he wants to say it. I mean, I'm fanboying out right now. Man. Shut up. And now time for sleep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, click the like button down below. Subscribe for more videos. We post them Monday through Friday. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Ties iPhone help with the pirate gray. Working hard doing blogs, man, every day. Being funny, huh? What can I say? They help with everybody, man. Bitches on the way, subscribe today. Hit like and plug.